Hello. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. We're just, um, yes. hold on a second. We're it's just getting light. Sound. It is a natural light coming through. Yes. Let's get the video up and, um, yes, we were like, oh, what time is it? <laughs> the clock went forward. Uh, somebody in the forgot. UK. Somebody thought it went back. <laughs> So guess what time I woke up today? <laughs> guess what time he went to bed last night? Yes. <laughs> uh. There we go. All right, so that's good. Okay, let's put that to one side. There we go. Cool. So lovely. Okay, so yes. Hello, thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusa Crafts. And Tommy. We can't, Tommy, can't miss yes. out Tommy down the bottom down here, can Ooh. we? Hey, He's Tommy. So Say hi, Tommy. Come on. Your fans are waiting. No. So um, please pop on, or when you pop on, um, please say hi. Um, let us know where you're from, who's watching, etc., etc. Um, we'd love to see that and talk to us. We love to see your comments and questions and so on. So yes, so that's good. Did we post a link over on um, Facebook at all? No, I didn't. No. Think I okay, so you do a little bit of talking. And yes, I'm gonna so get that link posted. Most of you know that we're independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators, but if you're new to our channel, uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for card making and paper craft inspiration and ideas. Uh, if you do like what you the products that you see, the, if you do like the products <laughs> that we use, uh, you can purchase card Stampin' Up! products from our online shop at mitosocrafts.com if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands. So for today, uh, Barry's actually going to create something for you with the breathtaking bouquet. Yes. So on Thursday, no, on Friday, I created a project using breathtaking bouquet for the Global Stumping Video Hop. So if you haven't seen that yet, uh, with the faux black technique, check it out. It's on our channel. Um, Barry will be using some embossing as well yes today. i will be doing some embossing um so yeah some heat embossing mm. i will also and using some elements from another project which is now live over here on youtube so have you talked about that already no okay. not yet okay. so you can have no there you go i'll leave that okay. to you so uh we posted a new video uh craft hacks tips and tricks with uh stamping blends so check it out as well so put it on your playlist or um on your next video to watch <laughs> yes so, so yeah so we've just done that and so the, and the card today is inspired by the bits which was made from that used in that little tips and mm. tricks video so if you want to see how it was done then head over there and go and watch it so that's how yeah. it's um so yeah we're now making a card out of it today yes so that's good so yeah that's good. so we we do find that we give out a lot of um hints and tips during our Facebook Live. Live? Live. I'm saying the new word, live. <laughs> We're going live. Facebook Live. So um, we we realise that most people won't sit through all of our Facebook Live and might miss all of those tips and tricks. So we decided to use, um, to create more videos and uh, do it in bite-sized chunks. So then hopefully people can use our tips on their card making and paper craft. Yes. Hi, Sandra. Hello. Did that comment come up on there or did it, it only come did, up on there? It did, but I didn't read it. Okay, that's fine. I, I was talking and I oh, couldn't okay. talk at the same time. Your read video it. is out of line with your voice. Haha. <laughs> what, this video now, Lindsay? Maybe, okay. maybe, um, is that happening to any, everyone else? Log off and log on. Is anyone else having that problem? Okay, yes. well, we'll carry okay. on for a yeah. moment. We'll see. Um, that's fine. All right, so have you nope. shown that yet? So no. last thurs Thursday? Thursday, yes. I, I created... Don't know. I, I've lost track of all of this week already. I don't know what day it is. I created this card from our Facebook Live, so that will... You can you can watch the replay from our Facebook page, Mitoso Crafts, uh, on Facebook. So I'll try and post that tomorrow 
uh, on the blog as well so you can watch the replay on YouTube so using the offcut from Barry's card that he created uh, on Wednesday last Wednesday so I used the butterfly duet punch with the butterfly gala stamp set gala gala <laughs> stamp set as well um, I think that's that's all I can show you for now. Uh, I do have another blog post coming out tomorrow morning, 2 a.m., uh, maybe 3. Um, Has he written it yet? And it's for the Stamp Review Crew blog hop. Uh, we are reviewing or using Timeless Tulips. This is a sneak peek. Ooh. <laughs> And I made a video, so that's going to be on the blog as well. Cool. Yes. Lovely. All right, so let's um, flip you round and we'll crack on with today's... Um, okay, I logged off and logged on and it's better. Good, okay. perfect. Thank you, Lindsay. Lovely. All right, so let's flip you round and see what happens. Hi, Marlene. Oh, it's just like... Oh, you're going to come and sit here, Tommy. Come on, you've got a chair now available. Okay, so as we said in the description here, we're going to be using the breathtaking bouquet background. Um, back, so it's a big background stamp to create the, the main feature of the card, and we're going to be doing some of the things which we used for our tips and tricks video. So I'm just going to quickly just do one of the bits which we've done for the video, and I'm just going to colour in something in, and then Jay is going to then cut it out for me whilst we're waiting so what i've done is i've used the on this particular part is i've done we've just die cut the thanks from the well written well written <laughs> <laughs> well written frame it dies um and cut the thanks out okay which is perfect on its own but we just like to do this little tip which we do where we stick it down and do this so if you watch the video back you'll be able to see more about it and some other little tips and tricks which we have done as well so I'm doing this first um, so that Jay can then actually cut it out for me so I can actually give him something to do so how's everyone's day been how's um everyone self-isolating nicely and getting on right with the family and so on and so on. So I'm just going to do this and I'm going to hand it over to Jay. And then he can continue. And then I'll crack on with the main part of the card. There we go, Jay, can you just um, do that part there for me? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, oh, there was also a white one I thought lying around here as well somewhere. Um, I thought I was all prepped this morning. Just use that, that's fine. Okay, I, I need a, a, a die cut for it. Oh, okay. So I thought I, there she is one over here somewhere, but I think it's gone missing. It's falling around. So that's fine. All right, so what I've done is I'm using the Pretty Peacock cardstock, okay? So I've cut this down to 14, or it's 21 centimeters by 14.5 centimeters, and I've scored it down the middle here at 10 and a half centimeters. That gives us our standard card base. So that's what, that's the size we cut all of our card bases down to. All right. And then what I've also got is I have got the Stamparatus, which is here. Now, the reason I'm using the Stamparatus here is because this is a large stamp. And um, see, you, you, we do have the large blocks, which go with it as well. But sometimes it's a little bit tricky to position it, line it up. And if you don't quite get the correct, cr correct pressure on a large stamp then you, the chances that you're going to be able to line it up again are quite slim. So using the Stamparatus, I think, is a really great tool for you for this one. Because if you do miss a bit of stamping, you can just go back over it again. So I positioned the stamp onto the platform. I'll show you how I did it, actually, because it doesn't matter, because I haven't. So I grab the stamp, pop it down where I want it on the platform. So I'm using it right up against the corner. 
bring over the bring over the lid and pick up the stamp. I'm going to take my Wisp and White cardstock. Now I'm using a, bit, a piece much bigger than I need. So you will get a little bit of off cut and wastage on this, but I'm sure we can use the, 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 the off cut can be used for something else. Put your magnet down. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm taking the coordinating color. So the coordinating color, which goes with the Pretty Peacock cardstock and the Pretty Peacock ink pad. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to stamp the breathtaking bouquet or ink up the breathtaking bouquet stamp over on this side here. And let's bring it over and stamp it down. So give it a little bit of pressure. All the way around. And then we come over and you can see perfect example is that I messed up on a little bit of stamping there or it didn't mess up on it, it missed a bit. So because the paper hasn't moved, because the stamp hasn't moved, bring it down and control a little bit of pressure in that area there. Okay. And there we go, we filled it in. So that's one of the best things about the stamparatus is if you don't miss a little bit, you can come straight back over with it again. It's like you planned it all along. It did, and I didn't actually. I was <laughs> when, when you don't want, when you want it to happen, it never happens. But so, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to intensify this color a little bit more, and I'm going to go over it once again. So I'll ink up the stamp. So a stamping platform, I think, is a must for any crafter. Um, we don't use it all the time. Um, it doesn't need to come out all the time, but it's one of those ones which is very handy to have in your crafty stash. But for those who's got um, problems dexterity hands, problems yeah. and problems holding hand, obviously, being men as well, so we've got quite large hands, so it's quite easy to hold a block. But obviously, some 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 people have smaller hands. Obviously, Jay's got smaller hands than me. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think you know what I'm trying to say is that just it's different. So a platform helps you. Helps me out. Can you see the different cells? See, that's a lot darker now as well. So what I need to do is, actually, could you just do me a favor? Could you just give that a bit of a, a wet through for me? So I'm gonna clean, and obviously this is another I tool which you'll need. Do you reckon that'll be fine, yeah, is it? It just needs to be damp. Okay. I used it earlier. It okay. felt okay. So I'm just using the stamping, sh the, the chamois here, just to clean my stamp because I want the stamp to stay in the, st stay in the same position. So I don't want to remove it. So I'm just giving it a clean off. And one of the good things about the stamping chamois is that the ink very rarely transfers over to your fingers. If you were using a wet wipe, then my fingers will be green right now, greeny blue. It'd be the same color as the ink. So avoid wet wipes. What are you laughing at me? You have a peacock hand. I have a pretty peacock hand, yes. So. Grab yourself a chamois and then you won't have inky fingers or it will limit the limit it anyway. So what I'm gonna do Hi Anita, good morning. So we are now keeping this in the same place. Nothing has changed. I'm now gonna do a bit of heating bossing. So this is fine as it is. I can continue with the card as is and it'll be perfect, but I just want to add another another step to the card for you, just to give the card a little bit of texture, make it so it's, you want to touch it and then obviously then you can feel it and you can feel some, you can, you can feel the stamp rather than see it. So I've taken some Versamark. Are you laughing at me? Feel it. You can, you can, feel, you can it. feel the stamp. Well, you can because you'll be able to feel the, the texture. So I'm just taking some Versamark, so I've cleaned my stamp, I'm taking some Versamark and I am getting the stamp good and inky with this. <laughs> Sorry, when you say stamp it good. Good and inky, get it good and inky. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going over, I'm, and if you're unsure, Versamark is a wet, so it's, it's a sticky ink, which will stay wet. Okay, until you put something on it and then you heat it, heat set it. So I'm going to put that down, give that a lot of pressure. I know I missed this area here earlier, so I'm putting a little bit of pressure in that one there. And we're going over. Okay, 
Ooh, did you prepare your cardstock first? I didn't prepare my cardstock, I oh. forgot. Whoops. Okay, so what I should have done is I should have prepared my cardstock with the embossing buddy. But I didn't. But never mind. I don't think it'll be too much of a problem on this one because it's on white cardstock and I'm using clear ah. embossing. So I'm not too worried about that. But if I was using a if I was using a colour at all, it might um, it, it would potentially cause me issues. So I've got this, and you can probably see maybe on there it doesn't really show up too much, but the ink is still wet, which is perfect for me to now grab. my clear embossing powder. I could have used a colour, I could have used black, I could have used um, silver, gold and so on, but what I wanted is that I wanted to, we don't have a pretty peacock embossing, embossing powder, so this is how you can emboss your, you can emboss any ink, so stamp it down first and then go over it again with the embossing powder, and then you'll be able to then give your, You'll be able to give any colour you've got a embossed look. So there's another little tip for the tips at the moment. So just chuck it on. I just gonna say I chuck the whole thing on and then knock it off. Okay, and oh, put that to one side. And whilst I'm got this here. And decant that back into into that. Put your lid back on it before you um, before you knock it over. All right, so you can see that you might be able to see the difference there. Now it's now gone very pale. It's gone white-ish. It's got a white tone to it. So grab your heat tool. I'm going to heat from the back. Okay, it's going to get a little bit noisy now. Gonna heat from the back, I'm gonna let it heat up a little bit, get nice and warm, and then I'm gonna take it to the cardstock and then we're gonna melt this powder. So it's just gonna get noisy, so just bear with me one moment. Okay, so going from behind. And you might be able to see that changing. Okay. And that has been heat set, all right? So you can now probably see, now I've got a nice shimmer to the inbot, to the, to the ink, to the, to the stamp now, which I didn't have beforehand. So that's why it's a perfect way, it's a good way of doing this. I'm not gonna run my fingers over it just yet because it might still be a little bit wet. So it, it does dry pretty quickly if you're new to this, um, but don't go rubbing your hands over it instantly because it's gonna be hot and you may burn your fingers. Just let it dry for a second or two. Cool down. So we are gonna grab, yeah, the paper's cool now. All right, so we're gonna grab, so I've now got some texture to this. And you'll be able to see whether or not you've missed anything because obviously it won't look as strong as it is on there. Can you see? I don't know if that... Why do I do it on the back? Um, well, you can do it on the front, you can do it on the back. It doesn't really... I, I think going from the back sometimes gives you a... Um, it, it melts the powder a little bit slower 
from what I've heard from people saying it because if you go from the front you've got it's quite intense the heat from the front so going from the back is a little bit it, it just it takes a little bit longer to melt it so therefore it might actually melt and be a little bit more of an even melt sometimes I think when you go from the front it can just be What's the word I'm looking for? It can go a little bit bubbly. Uh, do you know what yeah. I'm... Um... Also, if you have too much embossing powder that's not stuck down, there's, there might be... It might be blown away by the force of the heat too. And then it might go to where you don't... The want way you it. don't want it to go yeah. as well. So you can control it. You can control it a little bit more as well. All right, I hope that's answered your question. Good there. question. Good question, yes. All right, so I am going to now trim this down. So I'm going to just take off... So this is the part over here which we don't need. So initially it's around about 11, so take it to about 11 centimeters and just take off the excess. And we will then take off some excess this side. So I actually wanna take it down to around about, I think it's nine and a half I wanna take it to. So I'm just taking bits, bits off, um, taking a little bit off the top. And we'll take, yeah, I'm going to take it to 13.5 centimetres, which will then be 9.5 centimetres this side here, which is what I want to take it down to. So, because the card base itself, remember, is 10.5 by 14.5. So I've taken it down to 13.5. So I've taken one centimetre off of the length here. And I take it down from ten and a half down to nine and a half, so I've taken it down a centimeter from the width. So that way, when it goes on there, I, that's how I work out. So whatever I take off from the top and the bottom, I will take off from the side as well. And then that way, you will always ensure that you get a perfect border all the way around every single time. Otherwise, if you're a little bit, you may find that you've got. If you find that you're getting it's bigger one end and or sort of smaller one end, and then it's bigger the other end, it's because your proportions are all out of whack. So um, just think of it a little bit when you're doing it, that whatever the card but card stock is, take it down. So if you're taking a centimetre from the top and the bottom, you want to take a centimetre from the left and the right as well, and vice versa. So that's that little tip for you if, you're, if you struggle with your mats and layers. So it doesn't matter what it is, whatever you take off here, you take off the same there as well. All right? So... That's that part done. So I'm going to move over onto the other bit first. So Jay's already fussy cut this bit out for me. And I'm just going to stick on the white bit here. So I'm just going to go through. I'm taking my fine tip glue pen here. And I'm just going to just put some dots around this. Just so I can stick another layer on. So again, if you want to see a little bit more about how this is done and the exact process, watch our tip video, which has gone live um, today. That's it. So the fine tip glue pen is perfect for these intricate cuts. All right, and we're just going to take the white one. Just gonna stick that. Am I in the way, Tommy? Am I being nudged? <laughs> Tommy sat right by the side of me, um, nudging me. Can I have to take your pick tool, Jay? Oh, it's down here. Yes. So I just need to just position this a little bit better. position it a little bit better. That's it. That's where I want it. I had a little bit too much black shot and I didn't want that. So there we go. So that's the sentiment which has been done right there. All right, so we're going to come back to that in a second. 
So what I also want now is I want to die cut. So what Jay's already pre-done for me is that, where's the die for it, Jay, so I can show what the die is. Well, I put it back under here. Okay. So Jay has already pre-die cut me some, a circle. Oh, oh there it is there. So, which is the the stitched from the stitch frame that dies. So it's this one here, and it's nice. Stitch and it, shapes stitched, dies. Okay, stitched shapes dies. <laughs> oh, stamping up likes to give you tongue twisters, don't they? It's not frame next anymore. Oh, stitched shape dies. Okay, and you can see that we get a nice stitched edge, which is beautiful. Okay, so it just adds another, it just adds another element to the. Um, to your die cuts. So with your off cut, which you've got here, I'm also using the tailored tag. And I'm gonna then punch, punch this out here. So that's good. And that's gonna get stuck on to that like so. So I do need to, one thing to bring out with me, James, glue. Oh, yeah. So my trusty hand is just going to go and get me some glue. There we go. So let's use one which has actually got some glue in it. So I'm going to stick this down. So because obviously it's going to hang over the edge, I don't want to. I don't want to be gluing in the <coughs> the edge of this. So I'm just going to concentrate to the middle, like so. All right, and then that's going to get stuck on, and we're just going to centralise that as best as we can. So what I try to do is the point to one stitch and the point that trying down to another stitch will at least maybe try and give you some kind of um, indication of that you've got it central. So you're looking at two points. All right. That's that part. So I am going to just do a little bit of splatting. So grab your blend, pop it into the lid, and just like that to add a little bit of random, random dots. And that's how you do that part. And then we are going to stick the sentiment on like so. All right, so I'm going to just pop some glue on this part here. Just want to clean that end. You all right, Nitra? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're taking a picture of Tommy. Yes. Yeah, I've got Tommy sat right by the side of me. He's so cute. So he, he just has to sit by the side of us. And if you watch the video which we've done today, the tips video, um, I did have to heavily edit a portion of it because Tommy decided to join me on the table and then roll over I on put, the table. I put on the description with guest appearance from Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did have to heavily edit um, and then that's just going to stick and I'm going to pop that central as central as possible in there like so. So, hi Wendy. So there we go. So that's that part done. What we will do, so I'll leave that to one side for a second. I'm going to grab the glue again and I am going to be taking some of the, again, coordinating. So we're going a lot of tone on tone on this one here. So this is all Pretty Peacock. So I've got a Pretty Peacock um, scalloped linen ribbon. And I'm just going to take a little bit, which is the, the length of it and enough to wrap round and stick down. So I'm going to snip that off here. Hi Carol. I'm going to, yeah, I also, I don't see Carol's comment there. Hi Carol. So that's going to go in right there and we will take some tear and tape. And I'm just going to wrap this round. I want it roughly like that. So I'm going to stick that round like that. Bit of tear and tape goes over the top. And we'll do the same for the other side. So get it nice and straight and even. And then we'll just stick it down 
like so. So tear and tape is your friend when it comes to this. So, and it's all stuck down. You can if you want to, because I'm gonna stick this down now onto the cardstock itself. So we can, we don't have to do this, but I will, because it just adds another bit of addition. And I'm gonna pop the glue all the way around this. On that as well, and round we go. Some of the glues on the, on the ribbon so it gets stuck, coming down. Good and, and stuck. Good and stuck, I like that word, don't I? Get it good and stuck. Get it, get it, do. All right, and we will stick it. Stick it to our card base. Okay, concentrating on this area a little bit where the ribbon is to make sure it is good and stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and also make sure I've got it around the correct way as well. So that's that. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure onto this. It's gone a little bit, it feels a little bit wonky. So I'm going to just push, manipulate. There we go. Hi, Sherry. Is it Sherry? Hello. Yes. Hi. Clay's not paying any attention to Sorry, the comments. Sorry, I've been dancing. <laughs> well, you think he's lying. He has actually been dancing. <laughs> okay. I feel lost. Yeah, and there's no project from Jay tonight, unless he's got a, unless you've got something you want to just quickly show or do. But what can you do with the off cut? <laughs> <laughs> what that off cut? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I did actually have an idea, which I can do a second one if okay, we want you, to. You do it. It's the same principle, but all of what you need you to do is find me a, a nice bit of DSP. Uh -huh. So choose a different colour, tone on tone again, but I'm just basically want to do a strip with a bit of DSP or some pattern paper, neutral pattern paper coming out the sides of it. There we go. All right, so that's that. So I'm going to grab our, our um, dimensionals here. Take your pick tool, and we will now pop some dimensionals on this here. So I'm going to stick the dimensionals on the top and the bottom because there's a little bit of height and obviously depth in, in that part there. I'm not going to worry about putting it so much in that part because it will it will add it will add it will make it bump a little bit. So I'm kind of like just popping it either side, top and bottom. And that way, everything will level itself out. And that's going to go. In like so. All right. Then what we're going to do is we are going to grab some pearls. Or some rhinestones for this particular project. I have already now these are the basic right um, basic rhinestone basic jewels. So these are normally clear. Okay. Yes, watch our video on that one now. I've just explained it a little bit more about why we do that. So um, our tip video from today. And we've coloured, obviously, the rhinestones as well with the coordinating colour. So it's another thing which you can do, um, which will be... Hi, Steffi. Hi, Karen. Actually, I'm going to do that one there. I'm going to take that one off and I'm going to pop that one at the top. I'm going to be a little bit more uniform here. No, actually, I still don't like it. It's going back to where I want it. Obviously, I, I try not to, when I'm doing this, I try not to push them down too hard to start off with because then that way I do have the, I do have a little bit of flexibility with moving things around. So I kind of like place them down where I want them. If I'm not happy with it, then I will go again. Can I just say, um, Stamping Bees, Karen is part of the Global Stamping Video Hub. Please check out her uh, channel uh, and subscribe to her YouTube channel. Please. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna let that dry and we pick that one up. There we go. And that's going in there. Nah, 
Yes, yeah, I'm happy with that. And there we go. There is a quick card using up, keeping it tone on tone and using the, um, the, the bits and bobs, which I did in my quick tip video today as well, and some heat embossing on that as well. So I hope you like that, um, which is really nice. I loved how we've done the sentiment here. It looks a good one. One to sandbox, Anita. <laughs> yes. Well, it's it's an, it's an easy tip, which you can do with dimensionals as well, So, um, so which is great. So that's that one. Um, I'm going to do a second card now, which is using my off-cut piece of paper, which was this part here. So the idea which I've, I've kind of had, it's just using it, so we're just going to use it as a strip. And Jay's looking at me because he's got no idea what I'm doing now. Um, so he's got, he's got no idea. Basically, what I want to do is, is I want to do the same thing, really. Okay. But just having some contrast and design a serious paper coming out the side. So we can either do it with um, purple posy, might be a nice colour to do it mm -hmm. with. Yeah. So, or high, and high, purple posy cardstock and Highland Heather ink. Might be quite nice. So I'm going to cut this down to 14.5 because I want this to be the whole length. So this is the off cut. I'm going to cut this down to 14.5 on this one. This is an unplanned video. I wasn't planning to do this card. So we will see. Um, see how it pans out. And I'm going to cut, cut this into a strip. So I'm going to cut this down to, i say, 7. Because then if I have a... That'll be a 9. So let's cut that down to 7 centimetres. Okay. We're going to grab our bit here again, and I'm just going to just try and. and it it's still from Versamark. From Versamark, that's fine. I can collect the Versamark. Purple posy. Yeah, or hide it. Yeah, purple pur 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 it's all a piece. Purple posy um, card stop, please. Where are they? Why are they moving stuff again? It's where it always lives. Yeah. I don't know where they Wait. Okay. So I'm just positioning that. I'm going to go with the Highland Heather here. And I'm just going to ink this up now with Highland Heather. Gonna get the stamping platform a little bit dirty, but that's fine. Now, I would normally have done this by hand. I wouldn't have used a stamping platform normally for this one, but because the stamp was still on it, I was quite, I was, I was happy and confident that I was going to get it lined up correctly and luckily I did but the problem is obviously I can't intensify that color because I, I won't be able to get it in exactly the same position so just be careful just, you just need to make sure you give it um, give it a bit of welly when you stick it down the first time all right so I'm not going to be doing any of the embossing on this one so that's going to go in Ooh. Like so, so that needs to be cut down to size. I just took it from the pack. That's fine. So I just need a coordinating colour which can then stick out on the sides. Oh, I see. Things. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna trim that down one more, I'm gonna Bring it in one more centimetre. So I've done it at seven. So I'm going to take it down to six. So I've started off bigger than I actually needed because it's easier to take off than it is to add. Um, I wish that was the same for weight, but hey ho. <laughs> it's got scores. Um, co co I said coordinating colour, I meant con I meant to say contrasting to design the series paper. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, 
Say what you mean. You should know what I mean just by just by what I say because you expect me to be a mind reader. What colours, everyone? Um, what about the what about the design of serious paper, which is which coordinates with this? These colours, the woven textures one, the woven uh, threads. Yeah. Well done. There's so many, I don't know. Okay. Snap, snap. So I do, and obviously I just need you to pick a sentiment for me to go in the. Um, see, Jay, this is all unplanned now. So Jay's not ready for me. Can I have another? I need a, a circle cut in purple posing, please. All right, I'm giving you that. <laughs> a circle cut in purple. In purple posing. See, I'm making him work. <laughs> he, he wasn't planned. He wasn't prepared for it. It's right in front of you. <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> All right. So we will go with No, okay, I'm gonna go with the brown. So oh, which is the That's nice. Look, I just cut it in an oval. You can make something with that, Barry. There you go. <laughs> so the coordinating colour here is Sahara Sand. All right. Can you think of, find a sentiment for me which can go, because I don't want to use the same thanks sentiment, or if we've got another thanks sentiment up there, which is already, then I'll use that one. If not, then... So I've cut that down so you can't see. I've got I've got a bit of designer series paper here as a strip. I've cut it down to 14.5 centimetres, which again is the same height of this one here. And I'm just gonna then put this through and I'm just gonna evenly cut this either side. So I can see on the trimmer here, I'm, I'm evenly spaced between the two centimetres. So I know I'm gonna get an even cut. And this is one of the great things about this new trimmer, which we've got, it's not so new now, it's been out a little while, <laughs> is that there's, there's ridges, there's a ridge here as well. With the old trimmer, you couldn't do this as easily because it would move, but there's a ridge at the top here, so quite for smaller pieces which you can't hold, I'm quite comfortable and confident that I can do it with small pieces. Because I just, but as long as I butt it up, then I know that I can cut and it's not going to move. So that's my little tip there for you with the new trimmer. So there we go. That's. Well, we're either going to go with that side there. Hi, Lisa. That might be a bit too much. I'm going to go neutral and go with the Sahara sand. And then that's just going to sit in like so. Again, you could do this all coordinating all the same pretty peacock if you wanted to. It wouldn't be an issue. Um, I just wanted to do a different colour. I wanted it to be different. Purple posy. Purple posy. What did I say? Pretty big. I did, didn't I? Um, okay, so there's the other bit which I need as well, which is that one. So I'm going to take the truly tailored tag as again, and we will cut that out like so. So I'm doing the same principle. I'm not doing anything, anything really different here. So it's just going to go there. But the only difference is we'll probably have a different sentiment or something. So I'll let Jay decide what to do with the sentiment there. So it's the same thing. Is there a stamp which will work quite nicely? Like happy and then stamp birthday underneath it or something. Oi, come on. Ooh. Behave. Well, that's the girls. Are, they go um, happy. And happy. then I'll put, I'll put birthday. Okay. Well, well said. All right, so that's it. All right, so we will stick the, pop a little bit of glue down the side. 
in here. And we will then just stick that like so. Cling, cling. And the same for the other side here as well. So I'm quite happy because it's a coordinating color within this cardstock anyway, which is why I'm happy to use it because it's, we know that it works, or it works a bit, so. And I didn't want to go, so I just wanted to add another to separate and I didn't want to waste that bit of cardstock, which was on the side as well, so. Because the reason I started off with a larger piece on the original card is because it was a large stamp I needed something to hold on to or attach the, attach the magnet to. So which is why it ended up like that. Um, but instead of having a piece of cardstock which is just going to get put away and potentially not get used for a little while, you can, you can kill two birds with one stone and make two cards. So that's going to go down Did like Did you want so. an outline with your happy? Um, what like you done, like we've done here? Yeah. Um, no. Do it in white. It's entirely up to you, what do you reckon? So this is where Jay's going to now help me design this card quickly. So we right. are... Bear with. This is an impromptu design, so this is where we see Jay, Jay think on the um, think on the cuff straight away. No, I just want to mimic the one that you've done already. Yeah. Um, so I'll we'll do it in white instead of black. Okay. Where's the happy? You do, you do the sentiment, the other one. I did it in that, but. So what do you want me to do with it? Just fussy cut it out now. Yeah. What square it off? Yeah. Okay. Where's the happy? Um, he's going to put a die down and he can't. He I doesn't know where he's going to put it. Is it still on a die cut machine? Yeah. Happy is it's where it lives. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've cut this out very well. I'm a bit wonky, Joe. If you're like Barry, use the classic label punch. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be happy with it. So yes, so celebration is still going. Um, so you can join our Mitosu Stampers team and get more for your money. The well said stamp is the most expensive bling mount, I believe. And you can get it for free when you sign up. Yes, so because this is forty-two pound. This stamp set. I'll say it's a double stamp set, um, but you can get it for free of charge, which is great. Cool. Um, did you want to? I'll quickly do this. Stick it down. Okay. So Joseph's going to do do his bit. So. We're gonna... So you can stick your DSP down and I'll yeah. do this. Yeah, all right. So I'm just going to stick this part down here now. Yes, it's a nice combination, isn't it? It doesn't, uh, it doesn't um, detract from, from the purple posy as well. It complements each other, I think. So, whereas the card, the colour, which is obviously on the back, is quite, is quite, um, it's quite busy. So I didn't want to use that because it was, um, I think I thought it was going to detract from the stamps, the breathtaking bouquet stamping. Jay said to me before we come on, do you want me to do anything? Should I do a card? I said, no, it'd be fine. And here we are. Did you see the time? I was like, oh no, we're too, sh we're too quick. <laughs> we're too quick, and now we're going over, we're now into our hour long video again. It's your fault. It is my fault, we should have finished. Are you done already? I am oh. done already. Okay. 
see, when you make me do something, <laughs> it's always six ages, so... So there we go. So we're just waiting for Jay just to um, to put his socks up and get his get, get his act together and do some work. Rude. Rude. Yeah, something. No, he didn't plan on doing this. So that's going to go in like so. So I'm going to stick the tailored tag onto the centre part. So we're we're just mimicking the first card we did. So it's going to go in like that. So obviously, if you do, if you just joined, that's the first card we did. So we're just mimicking the first card, but just using the using some the off cut of Whisper White and still keeping the same stamp set which we've been using. So it's going to go in like so. So Dre's now going to quickly fussy cut. Can he quickly fussy cut? Let's time him, no, don't, let's not time rush him because he's got sharp scissors in his hand. So that's going to go in like like that and then uh, or somewhere. This is where I'm going to ask Jay for his um, for his opinion. I can't fussy cut and look at you. I know, when he, Jay, Jay can do the finishing touches. So I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back here. go down that's just gives it a little bit of height is this happy getting stuck over the top of it is it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so I'm thinking that we're gonna go with if we start gluing the the white one as well that would be oh, so that'd be good yeah that's a good idea isn't it so we're going to get the fine tip glue pen again and we are just going to, I'm just going to do this on a little bit of um, an off cut here. So I'm just going to start putting some, spreading some glue around. Have all started to play out because it's gone past their dinner time. Well, not really, is it? Well, no, I suppose not because it's no, it's actually half six, isn't it? To the, to them, <laughs> they've been waiting though. They start waiting for their food about six o'clock, don't they? Nearly done. Come on, chop chop. I don't want to chop my fingers. <laughs> Thank you very much. So if anyone hasn't seen the fine tip glue pen before, it's it's a it's a runnier glue than normal, so it's not like your Tombow glue. All right, and it's got the lid has got a little needle in it, so it's a little pin, it's not a sharp pin at all, but and then you just have to carefully finally insert it back into the into the lid. And then that's will go that goes in, and then it keeps the nozzle clear. All right, which is a good little idea. So, and this will last you for. Oh, I don't know, we've had this for years, nearly now, or since they first brought it out. I think haven't they? A couple yeah. of years ago, and we're still. Oh well, yeah. Still you could colour it with um, if you have an, uh, another pot, you can colour it with your ink refills. And then you'll have a colored because it dries a long time though but you can use it as accents for your project mm -hmm. so that's it so joe's just finishing off some of the coloring there for us there you go. that's it all right so there's the happy which we've done so we've done it in black and we are now going to then just stick on the the happy in the white over the top. Like that. It just makes it pop, doesn't it? Yeah, make it pop. So, yes. 
So, and we've done the video for this one. I keep mentioning it, the tip video, how we've step by step how this part was done. There we go. So that's that. So, okay, Jay. Oh. Fin that's with Steffi. She joined in January. Oh, well done. So that's going to go in like that. And I think. So we're going to go in like that. And we're going to go in. Oh, that's nice. I'm thinking that because I think you can still work out it. It says happy even though I've, even though you've covered up the. I probably will come down a little bit. Yeah, lower, I would. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Oops, sorry. And do you want to add any accent behind any ribbon? I did think of our tassels. We haven't used the tassels. Oh, tassels! No, we haven't used the tassels. Are they coordinating colours though? No, but there's a white one. Oh, okay, a white tassel. So the tassels from the Best Dressed Suite, which is these ones right here, um, which might be quite nice. So there's some white tassels in here, which might be quite nice. Mini, come on. How am I going to attach this then? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> no, you can't, you, can't, you can't leave me hanging like that. <sighs> Make a hole. Make a hole, what, in the, um... See, Jay's just told me to make a hole, so shall I just make a hole in the middle there? <laughs> You're not running. Where do I make the hole? Wait, with a punch. <laughs> Minnie, she's gonna... Where's the punch? You can either pierce it with a pierce mat, and your pick door. You know, that yep. thing. You need a personal. I do. I'll go and do that. You can take over on this part now. I'm going to pass you over to Jay and he's going to finish this part off for okay. us. Right, let's have a look. Pierce mat. It's good for stamping on your uh, photo pop with your photopolymer stamp as well. So you wanted it there? Yeah. Yeah. So what you could do is there, and then we can put a hole in it and then do something there. So we have, this is the flux ribbon. You can just use, because I'm being stingy. Yeah, you are being very stingy, aren't you? Well, all you need is a small <laughs> one. <laughs> There you go, that'll be enough. And all you had to do was put the hole. There you go. And then at least it would still hang. And if you do it at the back, there you go. Because you can just, you can stick it on with glue dot, but you. Ideally, I you, want, the idea of it hanging freely. you want it hanging, yeah. That is quite short, isn't it? Is there a longer one? <laughs> you won't be able to get that free, will you? I don't know what that is. So I'm just double knotting. It's fine. Have okay. you done it? Obviously, much easier if you have a longer piece of thing. But Jay's been stingy. It will go. There you go. Well, we gotta be crafty. We yeah, are crafty. Frugal. Yeah. And then you can just hide that. So, yeah, so we can put some glue or we can just trim that down a little bit and. Hey. I thought I just cut it off. Um, glue dot. I did. I thought I brought it. Maybe not. No. Okay. So whilst Paris getting the glue dot, I'll just no, have it. Because it's not where it should be living. There it is. Yeah, that's the floor. <gasps> that's pretty. Pretty. 
So just for just to glue that bit. Just to secure it a little bit more. Mm. He says. <laughs> How not to stick glue dot? Yeah. That's, That's fine. fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Right, I add this on. Do you want it in the middle? Wherever you think looks best now. Obviously my natural thing would be to go into the middle like that. No, I'll, I'll keep it in the middle. So I've used the side as a guide to make sure that it's nice and straight, hopefully. And then I'm going to stick that down. It will be a bit bumpy, but you can raise it with foam pads as well. Do you want to put foam pads on it? Uh, no, it's all right. We'll see. We can put foam pads on the... Does it wibble? Wibble wobble. Yes, it does. There you go. And then foam pads just on the... What's that? Left, right? <laughs> One side. Just on the one yeah, side. On the right hand side, I think, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. Glue. You don't use a lot of glue, do you? No. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Yeah, because he hasn't used a lot of glue, it's not sticking. Well, no, because it. <laughs> It's the bit that I didn't want to... Oh! See, because I blog. There we go. Just hold it still for a second, that's it. I was making sure that it was nice and straight. One, two, three. See, now you made... You put too much pressure on <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's... Now it's... Wonky. There we go. It's fine. There we go, with a bit of tasseling there. Um, and you can just use normal white. Yeah, normal clip. Normal. Ooh, gold. What color can you make gold? Yellow. With your um, we've yeah. actually got some gold, um, gold rhinestones. Okay, yeah. Um, I think I metallic know. gold. Yeah, we've got some gold ones. So yeah. Let me just see what I can find. Maybe in the happy that that will be on the left. Where well, you've got the on the right hand side. You've got the coordinating gems on those ones. Okay, this is the 2019-2021 in color faceted dots. You've got those ones there. Don't or, give me don't give me too much choices. I'm I'm going with this one. Or, or you have those ones there. Ooh. <laughs> See, we haven't used those ones yet. Okay. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> with your sleeve. Oh. This is the gold glitter enamel dots and it's Look how pretty! Pretty. No, that doesn't work. So, you see, like that. That's fine. There we go. It just finishes off and adds a bit more um, detail on the car. Look at that. Quite happy with how that came out. Yeah, well done. That happy's a bit wonky, but never mind. There we go. So we have two lovely cards for you. Um, well done, Barry. Come on, go sit with Daddy. Sit 
So yeah, so let's flip you round. It's like really messy now. It is really messy. Uh, so there we go. So we have one card. Make it wobble. Yay! <laughs> and the first one that Barry created. Yeah, so that was the original idea. And there's his second idea. Lovely. Right there, so using the same stamp set, the, the well-written ones, and some tassels, some diff lots of different techniques there for you. So good, so like them both, um, but the lilac, yes. I, it's an impromptu card, I wasn't planning to do this one, but I'm actually quite liking this one as well. Hi Kevin, so, thank you. Love the tassel, yes. Oh, that's great, Cherie. Good. Yeah. Yeah, so there we go, so one, two. So if you're interested on how we done the created the sentiment there, just go over and I'll look at our, our quick tip video and that will be there and show you a little bit more. So that's that. There we go. Good, good. Excellent. Anything else you'd like to add? Nope. Uh, nope. Just please make sure you give us a, a thumbs up um, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. Where you can, please share the videos in our channel. That will be really helpful. Yes, Thank you. we'd love that. So we we will be back. Um, well, we don't know when we'll be back. Actually, we'll definitely be back on Wednesday evening. Um, but because with everything in this shut down at the moment, we're at home, so we may come to you more often with some more videos. But we'll definitely be back on Wednesday evening. Our scheduled time around about seven seven thirty in the evening. Um, but we may be back with you tomorrow or Tuesday as well. So just keep watching this space. So hit the subscribe button to be notified if we do and like us on Facebook as well to not be notified when we're actually doing some videos. Good, excellent. Well, if we don't see you beforehand, we'll see you on Wednesday night about 7, 7.30. Until then, stay safe, everyone, and um, look after yourselves. Hope you enjoy that. And thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye now. Bye.